What's up, Internet? My name is Mike at Clarington Kia, and behind me, we've got a 2017 Subaru Outback Touring with the tech package, just over 100,000 kilometers. Let's go take a look at this amazing find from your friends here at Clarington Kia. All right, let's jump into the Subaru Outback Touring. Like I said in the start, it does have the premium package, just over 100,000 kilometers. No accident history, Carfax verified. I'm gonna show you that when we hop on the inside of the vehicle. But this is a great, great find from us here. So let's jump into what is underneath the hood. We have a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine, 175 horsepower, 174 foot pounds of torque. So it's got lots of torque, really nice torquey engine. And then of course we do have the Subaru symmetrical all wheel drive on the Outback. That is, uh, they're legendary for their all wheel drive systems. Being symmetrical means that it is a 50, 50 split ratio. It is all the time all wheel drive for maximum traction, whether you're, you know, on a dirt road, a little bit of off-roading or just on those horrible, horrible Ontario winters that we seem to be getting. Now up front here, you can see we have LED headlights, LED daytime running lights, and then the fog lights down below. The fog lights are part of that technology package, as well as some amazing safety features, which I'll cover as we kind of do our tour here, um, and a power tailgate, which you'll see when we get around to the back. Now, as far as condition of the vehicle, you don't have to keep your eyes peeled. I will show you things like this, the little very minor stone chip on the hood, I think this is just dirt here. Yeah, that's just some goo. Um, <laughs> but you don't have to keep your eyes peeled. I'll show you anything that I can see on here uh, as far as dings, dents, scratches. And we do that because we want you to have confidence that if you come and look at this vehicle, it is in exactly the same condition as we're describing it here. And you can see for yourself. Giving a nice side profile view here, you can see it is kind of wagonish, but definitely a lot taller than a wagon. And that's what makes the Outback so unique. There's not many vehicles out there like this um, that has that longer, like look at how big that second door is. Lots of room in the back for kids or adults, plus tons of cargo room. So one of the unique features of the Outback. And then taking a look here, we've got these beautiful alloy wheels. And then something to note here, these are Nokian tires. And Nokian tires are very unique. Those are four season tires. So these are fantastic in the summer and the winter. However, however, this vehicle also comes with a set of winter tires. So spent the money, got the amazing Nokian tires, but then also put a set of winter tires on for those winter conditions. So that's nice. You get a nice bonus set there. We've got the roof rails up top here. You can see you can add some crossbars up there if you like, maybe with the kayak or whatever it might be. I don't know. I, I find Subaru drivers they just, they're so much more outdoorsy than any other brand. So that's why I say, I don't know. Whatever you put up there, they've got the roof racks for it. Now here we've got just a little, little, little minor, minor scratch right here, right? This here is not in the paint. That will probably buff out. Actually, it's mainly coming out just as I kind of rub my hand on it. So that's, that'll come out. Um, and then over here on the back bumper, very, very light but I do catch my nail in it ever so slightly. So I bet you can buff that and it's gonna come out 50% better than what you see here. Uh, but that is really the biggest piece of um, cosmetic damage we see on the cars right there. Again though, if we buff that, I bet you a lot of that lightens up. Now coming around to the back, you can see this beautiful tail lights here. We have the Subaru symmetrical all wheel drive badge. As I take a step back, that cool Subaru logo Right, give you a nice look here. And then we also have a trailer hitch receiver underneath. So if you want to tow something, you can do that as well. And then we have a power tailgate on the Subaru. So here's the cool little key here, push and hold. Oh, maybe unlock it first. Maybe because it's running, it won't do it. Yeah, some cars when they're running, you can't do it from the key fob. That's okay. We still got a ways to show you. Just push the button and it pops open. So power tailgate opens up and you can see we've got a huge, huge cargo capacity to work with here. We do have the Outback rubber floor liner. Now you can see there is some blue paint on there, but that was the whole point of having this cargo liner. Imagine if you didn't have it, it would be on this floor underneath. That would be pretty gnarly looking. So I'm glad we had that there. Now underneath here, let's see what do we got. Any surprises? Nope, just a, uh, a very neat and tidy uh, jack system for your spare tire. If you want to fold down the seats here, you can see there is nice and easy little levers here. You pull them down and then the seats fold down that side, that side, or both sides, whatever you like. Close it back up. 
continue our tour around to the passenger side make sure there's no dings dents scratches is over here and as we came around the side my little owl eyes did see where are they here right here I don't know if you can see that right there there's just a little 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 door ding there very 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 minor but again I saw it so I want to point it out to you because we are a full disclosure dealership here at Clarington Kia coming around to the passenger side is that a scratch or do, nope it's just more goo that I'm getting underneath my nails disgusting all right let's go take a look at the rear passenger seats here let's see where the little ones or maybe the big ones I don't know whatever you got will uh, be super comfortable back here you can see seats are in fantastic shape even though it is the light interior there's really no stains at all on it no rips no tears no burns and smells phenomenal let's see if this is a armrest here it looks like it yeah it sure is it's folded down all right so there you go little armrest of some cup holders and then down here i don't know if you can see that or notice that but we have the WeatherTech rear floor liners those are fantastic make sure uh that all that dirt and salt and junk that you might have with some of the uh winter weather will not get on to the nice floor mats there same thing with it in the front as well now i did notice as i opened it up i forgot to take out our ugly white mats i usually take these out for the video so that way you don't see but that's okay um driver passenger seat in nice condition a little light stain right there you can kind of see it very 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 faint but nonetheless it's there and then the driver's seat as well taking a look this is in really nice condition and then it is a power driver's seat too which is important the power driver's seat just allows you to get those seat adjustments even more fine-tuned than you normally would if it was a manual seat looking over here on the door everything is where it's supposed to be and now I'm gonna put these down because I want to show you so there's a lot of uh, buttons here by the driver's knee this is your power tailgate this SRF SRF don't know what SRF is uh, um, I couldn't tell you maybe sunroof I don't know that seems like a weird spot for that anyway the memory for the tailgate if you want it to stop at a certain point maybe you park inside you don't want it to open up too high you can do that our traction control this is for our um pardon me our blind spot monitoring system you can turn that on or off this is for our lane keeping assist you can turn that on or off this is for the forward emergency braking and collision warning you can turn that on or off and there are three great features that come with the technology package so we have lane keeping assist we have blind spot warning we have forward emergency braking with forward collision warning so it would actually stop the Subaru if uh, you have an impending collision up front maybe the traffic is slowing down it'll warn you first apply the brakes you can even stop it to hopefully avoid that collision we also have the same technology in the rear so rear collision avoidance so as you're backing up um, if the sonar senses that you're getting too close to a wall or another parked car it'll actually stop for you as well which is fantastic news um, and then when we put the car in reverse you got this nice rear view camera but what you also get is rear cross traffic alert so have you ever been in a parking lot and you're going to reverse out of a spot and there's cars on either side and you're like you can't see you're just praying that as you back up there's not a car coming from down the lane well the rear cross traffic alert will be able to see that car and sense that car coming it will throw a little orange dash or like kind of light this up a little bit and then give you an audible tone. So that way you stop and you don't pull out into the traffic in the parking lot. Also works great if you're, you know, just backing out of the driveway with kids and bikes and things like that. So a really nice feature to have. We've got our leather wrap steering wheel here. Now behind the wheel, we have paddle shifters. So if you wanted to manually go through the uh, automatic transmission gears on the Subaru, you can do that as well. We've got radio and volume controls here. This button here I tried using, I don't know what it does. It just wants to beep at me every time I use it. So <laughs> I don't know, tell me what that one is there, Subaru fans. Um, your Bluetooth controls here as well. These buttons here control our driver information display. So you can see there it's on the digital speedometer. I can flip through it as far as your trip computer, your average liters per 100, et cetera, um, all kind of show up there. Now let's back out, there we are. And then over here we have 
are adaptive cruise control. So the adaptive cruise control works just like the forward emergency braking, but in this time, you set cruise to 120, there's a car in the left-hand lane, which you're in because you're doing 120, and what are they doing? Like 95 kilometers an hour. Do you ever, just recently, somebody got actually a ticket and pulled over on the 401 for driving too slow. I thought that was fantastic. Let's keep doing that. Anyway, uh, I digress. Yeah, so with the adaptive cruise control, the 120 is set. As the car in front approaches or slows down or, you know, you catch up with whatever, uh, I guess I guess you catching up is the correct way to phrase that. Uh, the Subaru will slow down, match the speed. When that car moves out of the way, it goes back up to the cruising speed you had set. So that's a nice thing to have, right? It avoids uh, getting road rage and losing your mind about drivers driving too slow. So that's your adaptive cruise control there. Now, moving over here to our entertainment system, we've got, uh, let's go here, let's go here, let's go audio. And where's our source? Where's our source? Where's our source? Uh, well, AM, FM, satellite radio, there it is. It's always different everywhere else. AM, FM, satellite radio, Bluetooth audio, CD player, still got one of those bad boys. Um, and AHA radio, which is like another streaming service. I don't think really anybody uses AHA anymore, but it's there. Um, Bluetooth audio is probably the most important one. Sirius satellite radio for you serious lovers. And a compact disc, just in case you got some uh, discs hanging around, you can totally use that. Now you can see here, we've got a nice touchscreen system. We do have the phone control. We have apps as well. Um, apps are again, AHA, Starlink. Don't know what either of those are, um, but going back home here. And then I wanted to show you, how do I get to that? Uh, settings, split screen. This is kind of neat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So split screen shows you the radio on one side, your phone controls on the other side. That's also a nice little feature to have. Now, push button start, as you can see to the left. Um, and then moving down, we have a dual climate uh, control system. So you can change this side to be 21 and this side to be 23. We've got our heated seats for driver and passenger as well. Uh, and that automatic climb control works fantastic because you basically just set the temperature and then it'll adjust everything automatically for you. Underneath our little container here, we've got two USB ports, auxiliary port and a 12 volt charger for I don't know what. If you still use 12 volt, drop me a line. Let me know what you're using it for. I'd love to know. We've got change holder for the Tim Hortons, couple cup holders here, our automatic shifter, as you can see. And then moving down here, we have an electronic parking brake, which is fantastic. Um, our uphill ascent control, I don't know. I've never seen that one before. That's a Subaru thing. And then X mode, X mode, I am assuming is for better traction through the uh, symmetrical all wheel drive in case you are going off road or X mode. Um, would love to know what X mode is, and I should have done my research on that, but I didn't. Um, failure to prepare to fail, failure to prepare, something like that. Um, but yeah, so you might be wondering why why do this video live and muck it up like that? Sorry, I have my sunglasses on really great. Why do it live and muck up like that and like the mats on the seat? Or what? We do that because I want you to know that this is unedited uncut completely raw what i'm showing you is what i'm seeing so that way you know when you come here you'll see the exact same thing there's no um editing there's no you know touching up of photos i've seen a lot of that we don't do that it's just what you see is what you get uh so that way when you show up it is what it is because nothing worse than showing up to look at a used car and you didn't notice there was a scratch you didn't know there was this they've touched up photos it happens all the time we don't do that um that's just part of the your experience your way here from clarington kia so Beautiful 2017 Ford, or not Forester, 2017 Subaru Outback <laughs> um, technology touring package sunroof. Did I mention the sunroof? Yeah, it's got a sunroof. I think I might have forgot to mention it as a sunroof, but there's a sunroof there. There's also home link under the mirror. Um, available on ClarringtonKia.ca, or of course you can visit us in store here in Bowmanville. We have a fantastic dealership, but more importantly, we have the best staff around to help you buy this vehicle. We don't sell cars. We help people buy cars because quite frankly, I can't sell you something you don't want, but I can help you buy something that you do want. And that's what our whole philosophy is here at Clarington Kia. So we'd love for you to picture, picture? <laughs> we would love for you to pick up this Subaru from us here. And you can do that two ways because it's your experience, your way at Clarington Kia. I'm going to stop babbling. Thanks so much for watching. Congrats to whoever picks up this new Subaru. Bye-bye.